I had a really, really bad day. I was up like $7,000 and I just gave it all back. The best trade for me was AMD uh, that um, it was gapping up, NVIDIA and AMD, both of them, the semiconductors were gapping up and uh, they were kind of a sympathy play together, both of them were going in the same direction. It was, at the, you know, run up in the pre-market and then it dropped and I wanted to buy it, I thought maybe it bounces back and I really don't have any trade book on it, this one was more like a short and I got out, I told myself that why would I do that, so the first trade was really bad. And then it quickly found the bottom on the uh, five minute chart, popped up and became an engulfing on a five minute chart. So I went long at 156 for the pop. Uh, I got out a little bit, but then added heavily at 157 because I saw that it hugely coming up and then break off high of the day and all time high of 157, added more again at 148, all the way up to near to 159. And then I added the last part, I added at 158.60 for the break off to 159 again and I got out. And then as it dropped to VWAP, I went long for the bounce, but I realized that, okay, it's not gonna really do that. So the, essentially it's one trade, two, and three trades, and I made really, really good money on that. Like, I'll, you know, $5,800 on, on it, and you know, I just added heavily on that. And then I gave back all of it on the RBLX. RBLX was, uh, RBLX was a trade that, uh, you know, it's been on fire in the last couple of days. I didn't trade it, and I actually don't know how the price action works on that. But what I noticed that, uh, you know, it's doing a really nice consolidation ABCD pattern on a five minute chart. And it did pop up with volume. The volume came in. So I went long at 138, 137 for the break of 139, new high of the high. And that was the, you know, it seemed like a trap and never really went back up. And it, I had like 6,000 shares drop two points on me. I just, you know, that I got out of it. And I'm glad I got out of it. And that's an example of that you should have an, you know, a stop loss because now it's at 132. My average is around 138. So that's a really good example that you get the hell out of your trade. You know, this, this loss would have been even way worse now. So, um, and yeah, so that was really bad. I did have a, a lucid pop, uh, which, uh, you know, kind of like opening range break up, but really didn't, I, mean, I don't want to even talk about it. It's just not nice. It started gapping down 10, 11%. But the Jared did a really nice, good Baba uh, trade for us. Baba gapped down, did a one minute opening range break up. I didn't make much of the money out of it. At it. And then Jared came on and said, be careful of keep staying short on Baba because he tested the field. And then I went long at 146. I mean, Thor and uh, Brian were also long. and popped up to 147 and I got out of it. And then I tried to catch one double bottom here on it, which uh, I got stopped out again because, you know, apparently there's a news came out at 10 o'clock. Plus, Baba is really weak today. So I just got out of it. Um, so I lost on Baba. So I lost on Baba. I lost on... Uh, uh, RBLX really bad, AMD was really nice, so I ended up my day like a idiot. Um, uh, the only position that I have is a little bit of TNA, hopefully it goes down. I might buy more because IWM really lost it today, so it might be a good place to buy some uh, TNA. So <clears throat> I'm posting on cash. Uh, I don't know what news came in, but I might buy something. Yeah, NVDA did a very similar to uh, AMD. You know, it ran up too much in the pre-market and then sold off and then suddenly squeezed up like a you know, engulfing crack. Uh, and you know, it's staying over near all time high. Um, so I'm surprised you didn't trade AMD. So the sympathy play is when the stock, uh, when one stock that are very close the, the, the sector together, uh, like NVDA has such a great earning, and AMD is a sympathy play because they assume that if NVDA is doing really well, AMD is going to do that. And uh, you know, pretty much if you look at the charts, if I go to one minute of AMD, it's pretty much traded very, very similar to you know to each other. You know, you know, they ran up. Do you see the charts right now in my screen? Ran up together in the pre-market, sold off for five minutes, and then suddenly squeezed up. So AMD turned out a little bit nicer for me, and it's a lower price stock, and I'm really more comfortable with the lower price stocks. But uh, that was uh, that was a very very interesting trade on uh, uh, AMD. But regardless, uh, I added some TNA here on my uh, position. Um, see, maybe uh, you know now AMD is down one percent. So I adding a little bit. Of um, TNA here, hopefully the news is... Hmm. Anyways, so thank you so much guys for watching and uh, sorry about my bad trading today. I mean, I, when I'm saying handcuffs, I'm not making a joke. I don't want to, you know, it's really important to have the handcuffs for trading. You know, a lot of making money is easy in the market. Keeping it is the, the most difficult thing.
All right, guys. Thank you so much. Sorry about uh, bad trading today. It just uh, happens. Uh, all the best. I love you. Bye.